When it comes to the game of basketball, everything is not about pre-planning. It's not about selling something. So often I hear people talk about, hey, you gotta sell that move better or sell that drive better. And there's parts of the game where you're faking or you're selling something. But a lot of times the game is simply reacting and responding to opportunities and moments. In this set of footwork, a way to accelerate in these types of moments comes out of the surprise elements of the game. When you seize an opportunity that you didn't know was gonna be there. So let's think about the natural timing of our dribble. So if I was walking the ball up the floor, I would typically have a dribble step, meaning that my ball is gonna be dribbled right alongside my inside foot. Then of course a step happens in between and I would dribble again. That's the natural flow. Well, what we wanna be able to do is respond out of that flow if we see an opportunity. And that's what we're gonna be able to do with this set of footwork. We're gonna start this with what we call a float step. Now a float step means that you're not going to complete a step. So if I started to walk and I'm about to put this foot down and I see a moment in time, I can switch into a different set of footwork. And that step would have been a float. Or what we're gonna do in this circumstance is we're gonna do an inverted drop. Meaning instead of just putting the foot down, we're going to split our feet apart. And so now my hips start to fall. And that's the biggest, or I should say the easiest way to get your hips to fall is simply by separating your feet. Without your feet holding your body up, your body falls. And that's what happens during your inverted drop. Now, the big key of this is gonna be your ability to now gain acceleration out of that. So the last recipe in this is that instead of only splitting my feet, I don't wanna just let this foot hit, I'm gonna turn that into another transition and I'm going to dig with that step. And if you can put all these together from the float step to the inverted drop to the dig, now you're gonna put your feet underneath your hips and you're gonna angle your body in a position to truly attack. So keep this in mind as you work on this, this is all a slow, relaxed to an opportunity moment. I'm not planning this out. I'm not going to the court saying I'm gonna do a float step, inverted drop dig. That's not going through anyone's head. But because I have those ingredients, I have the ability to walk the ball up the floor and respond and attack. And if you can get that last part of your dig and really dig that foot underneath your body, what will happen is it's gonna angle your body in a position where you can keep your shoulders down and have leverage. So those are the ingredients of this type of situation to truly have acceleration in the surprise moment.